right. So let's let's move forward unless you have any other question. Uh, we have the next step would be again, you know, you have created an invoice and send it out to your customer. Now the customer is actually going to pay you, right? You will get money from your customer, and that is another transaction that you will record against the same invoice. So you will record a payment against the invoice and settle this one off and close this invoice. So you have this option called accept payment. So you simply click on this or the, another navigation is going from transactions, customers, and uh, you have your, let me see here, accept customer payment. So transactions, customers, and accept customer payment. So you can use this page as well. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is going to open up the same page for you. And if I if I go back on my invoice and click on accept payment, same page will open up. So I, I will just show you both the pages. Okay. Okay. Notice that the same payment page uh, opened up from this navigation as well, and the same payment page opened up from this navigation. The only difference here is that uh, I have customer or automatically selected, and on this one I have to select all my details. So that's the only difference between the two. All right. Now you notice that you have your customer, you have your currency. You need to select the bank account in which you are receiving the uh, amount, or if this is a check that you have received from your customer and you have not deposited in the bank, you can mark this as undeposited funds as well. So whatever the situation is. So if you have directly received via wire, via bank transfer, or credit card, you can select your bank account over here. So let's select, uh, for instance, all right, I'm just going to find my bank account. Okay, so I'm just going to select this ICI bank. I receive the payment in this bank account. And uh, here you will notice that your customer invoice is automatically selected. This is the the, the invoice that we are getting uh, the payment against. And if there were any credits against uh, this customer that we had issued, uh, you can also apply those credits as well. So for instance, if there was any return from the customer and we issued a credit note to them, the credits would uh, be uh, available here for application. So remember in our procure to pay process where the vendor was issuing us credit and we were applying on the payments, the same case, but in you know opposite direction. So here we are sending out them credits that we will apply to reduce the overall payment amount being received from them. So, you know, we, okay. we are gonna look into the credit really quick, but here you can also apply your uh, any open credits that you have given to this customer. All right. Okay. You'll simply apply this payment and save it. Okay, so this payment is now saved and deposited. And if I really quickly show you the GL impact in the actions, your bank account, ICI India bank account is debited and your accounts receivable is now credited, which is uh, actually ensuring that your uh, AR cycle is now completed and you do not have anything uh, receivable from your customer. Your customer uh, does not owe you anything. They have paid everything that they owed. So this is this is how you know a payment is created, and this is a GL impact. Okay. <clears throat>